All right, folks, we're all set up out here to do some park rising today. I have a firearm that was the recipient of some serious water damage. So I'm going to be uh, refinishing it, and uh, I'll take you through step by step. I want to give a quick shout out here to Iraqi Veteran 8888. Um, without your videos, I probably never would have thought about park rising in my house. And way back when, he did a bunch of videos and showed how really simple it is if you have the right equipment. So, we'll move on and I'll show you the firearm we're going to be doing today. Alright, those are the two main parts that are going to need to be fixed up. Um, the barrel, I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but uh, I can't see because the sun's right in the center of it. But if you can kind of see up close here, we have some parts where it's uh, got some nasty rust and pitting. Now, the sandblasting will take care of most of that. i got to get the oil off this before I put it in the sandblaster. But... Uh, we're going to give it a nice flat finish once it's all done, and you wouldn't even be able to tell that this was uh, damaged like that. The bore had a little bit of uh, rust in it, but I was able to get that out with some lapping compound and uh, basically a bore brush and just going over and over again. So uh, that's that. We have the receiver here. These are the two main parts. I have a basket of parts over there, that little white basket in the corner there. Um, as you can tell, this is badly pitted. This is going to take some work in the uh, park rising tank, I mean in the sandblaster, but I'm sure I can get that out. The other side didn't get as damaged, there's a little pitting here, and if you look inside, I don't know if you can see the rust in there, I got most of it out with a towel. So that's my chore for today. And uh, let me spin it around here a little, don't mind the jerkiness of the camera. Over there, I got my, sandbla uh, my sandblasting uh, tank and my compressor and over here we have the park rising tank so that should be pretty close to being up to temperature so I'm going to turn it down a little bit and I'll show you what all this looks like once I get it out of the sand blaster all right so I'm back and as you can tell here I got the main parts of the gun sand blasted um, you can see here we got most of that uh, pitting pretty much gone from the receiver um, whatever is left there the Park rising will take care of. And the barrel, all nice and sandblasted. You'll notice I went ahead and did some of the smaller parts. Um, that's just because I tossed them all in a basket and did them to make sure the solution was uh, seasoned and working well. I'm going to oil these up, but first we're going to dunk these guys into the tank. And I'm not going to wire them up, I'm just going to drop them in. Um, probably use a, uh, a rod or something to hold on to them. And I just pick them up out of the solution. I keep it at about 180 um, with a plastic glove. You don't even really feel the heat that much. Um, but you can wire it up. You can get some stainless steel wire, put it in there, and hang it just right. But that's how we're going to do it. So let's go over to the tank now. It's at perfect temperature, and we'll start uh, dropping the parts in. Okay, I think I got most of the tank in this shot. Yep, looks good. Okay, got the barrel here. We're going to drop it in right now. I'm going to lay it in slowly. There we go. And it's on its way. I don't know if you can see the uh, reaction in there. A lot of fizzling going on. With the... Once that dies, in about anywhere from, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, once all that uh, reaction stops taking place, the gun should be, the part should be nice and black. Now, this is manganese park rice, yeah, manganese uh, park rising solution, manganese phosphate. So it'll come out black. It's not zinc. The zinc is the gray that you may used to be seeing on some of your uh, older mill surf rifles. You're starting to see it's already starting to pick up a, a bit of a color. I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera. But uh, I'm going to give it a few minutes here. And then we're going to pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll rinse it off off camera and we'll drop in the receiver. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pull it out of there. I broke down and got some tongs this time. Ooh, that's hot. There you go. Nice, black, refinished. Looks good. I'll take it over to the other side of the table here. There we go. Now I'm going to drop in the receiver, see here, 
it goes. I give it a little hot water bath before I uh, put it in there. Woo. Hot. There you go. We'll be back when that's done. Okay, looks like it is done. So I'm going to walk over there and pull it out in a second here. There we go. Take a look at that. Ooh, that's hot. Anyway, I'll show you up close later. Um, but you can see that's nice and black. Um, looks a little dull now because I have to wash off the salt. So I'm going to turn off the camera. We'll run inside and dump that in some hot water. And I'll be back to show you the finished product that it's all uh, oiled up and sitting there getting ready for reassembly. Okay, there you go. Trying to see it in my viewfinder here. <laughs> uh, I opened up the garage door so you get some good light on this stuff. Um, right now it's soaking in oil. But you can see that's, uh, it looks dirty, but it's definitely, um, see if I can wipe it away and show you. You get a tissue. You can see there's a little pitting there, but now that it's been refinished, and once this, of course, is dry from all the oil, it's going to look pretty darn good. And I found out, I think this was damaged in a, uh, in a fire. So, after our gunsmith checked it out and made sure everything was uh, okay with it, the owner wanted it refinished so he could use it. So I'd say that's pretty darn good. It was pretty uh, caked with rust on that side there. And now there's just a little bit of pitting, but at least it's all uniform colored. All the pitting's off the barrel. Um, I managed to get that uh, pretty clean. Something I use to soak this stuff in when it's done park rising. It's just a mobile one. Good old motor oil. I let it soak in. Coat it up. And I coated up all the parts, but I wanted to recoat that since I wiped it off to show you. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And uh, got a little bit of cleanup in here in the garage and the shop, but uh, comes out really nice. And again, I wanted to uh, really thank uh, Iraqi Veteran 8888. He was uh, one of the first people on YouTube to have parkerizing videos. When I realized how simple it was, I wasn't afraid to try it myself. And uh, now I do a little bit of work on the side, you know, for the gun shop I work at, and uh, make some money with it too, plus refinish any of my own guns that need it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to rate, click, subscribe, and share with your friends. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you next time.